Hello friends, usually when we have an Excel workbook with n number of worksheets and suppose we are interested in jumping into a particular worksheet. So instead of scrolling from left to right, it is always a best practice to make a table of contents that is an index page so that the user can quickly navigate to the page of interest. Especially when you are planning a, to conduct any training sessions or any presentations using MS Excel instead of PowerPoint. This can be quickly done in MS Power Query. Let me guide you how. The usual method has always been copying the worksheet names like this, pasting it in the table of contents and then hyperlinking each of these by right clicking, link and selecting bookmark and that particular sheet. So this is the traditional method of doing it. But this can be quickly done in one go using, using Power Query. Let's see how. For that, hit Data tab. Go to Get Data from File, from Workbook. Uh, give the reference of, uh, select your file, import it. Select the file and load to. Suppose we want it in a new worksheet, not a workbook, new worksheet. Click OK. So here we get the list of the worksheets. And before doing that, what we'll do is we'll go to the column C, which is named as kind. And here select everything except the sh except sheet select everything these are irrelevant rows so we're going to delete them delete the entire row and then and now we have the table of content here but we have we still have to Hyperlink these. So these columns are irrelevant. So we're going to just delete them. So these are our worksheet names. So for hyperlinking, what we usually do is press equal to and go to table of contents and suppose select any cell. So this is how it is hyperlinked. So if you observe here carefully that the name of the worksheet is in quotes followed by an exclamation, exclamation sign and followed by the cell reference. So this is how we have to hyperlink. So for that, what we are going to do is type in formula for hyperlink and just follow the naming criteria or naming what you naming convention. So this is how we have to do it. So uh, what I'll do is I'll just give the quick formula in the description box for you to just copy paste it. So this is how we'll do it. So what we'll do is here is paste this. So if you see, tada, we have all the hyperlinks at a go. You can just rename this now to links to the worksheets. And if you click any of these, you'll get your, you'll jump into the page of interest. So now we can do a little bit of formatting. Just select this and go to design and choose a design you wish say I want a simple one and we'll just remove the filter button and here is how we have the table of content and index page in just few button clicks wasn't that easy and if you like this video then please share it with your friends and do subscribe to my channel for more such tips and tricks Bye-bye.